Money has been a big subject across Scottish football across the last few days as news broke regarding Rangers and Celtic going to play in a friendly tournament in Sydney for a large fee that supposedly equates to the same amount as the old firm make in a single SPFL campaign. This has caused huge outrage amongst both sides of the support, and whilst today's video isn't about the Sydney Super Cup, it is about money and the immediate futures of the two old firm clubs. So far this season, you would have heard a lot about the financial rewards online for the side that wins this season's title, as an automatic Champions League spot is at stake for the winner. It is well documented on how much the Champions League pays, and for a team like Rangers and Celtic, its financial rewards are almost life-changing as it equates to 10 seasons of winning the title in just 6 games. The automatic spot came from Scotland as the nation doing well in Europe and climbing up the pecking order in terms of UEFA's coefficient. Scotland currently sit in ninth and were battling with Serbia and Russia for a place in the top 10, which would grant the league winners an automatic spot, but due to the ongoing war in Ukraine, Russia have been suspended and in turn now means the Scottish Premiership will have another automatic spot for next season's winner of the league. This is big for both the league winners and also good for other sides in the division as the other teams will face less qualifying rounds to get to the European groups. Whilst on the subject of the Champions League, UEFA have published a revamp for the Champions League as of the 24-25 season, which will see teams competing in the competition go from 32 to 36 and see the group stage be changed to one big league table. Each side will play 10 matches in the first phase, 5 home and 5 away. The top 8 will then qualify for the last 16 and teams finishing 9th to 24th will then play in a playoff round to get to the Champions League knockout stages. Personally, I think the revamp is a great idea and we'll see clubs play more games in the Champions League which in turn will mean more revenue for teams in the smaller leagues which is life-changing and vital. As things stand, Scotland are on course for an automatic place in the Champions League in the 24-25 season if they can keep in the top 10 in the European coefficient. What are your thoughts firstly on Scotland again securing another automatic Champions League spot for next season and how do you feel about the Champions League revamp? Let me know down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's short update video guys, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Scottish football content and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, peace.